Would you look at that, Maui? Now that's something you don't see every day. This place definitely feels like the stuff of legend. Sure does. See that, Wowie? The sword and shield, the legends really were true. Let's look. You obtained a rusted sword. That settles it, I'm taking the shield. Though, wow, would you look at the state of this thing? It seems like it might fall to pieces if you so much look at it funny. I don't know if these rusty old things will really be able to stop the darkest day, but, well, I guess it can't hurt to have them along. Let's hope they bring us some good luck. So, what Hop was saying is that this was a waste of fucking time. Very cool. Maybe the, maybe the Pokemon themselves really are asleep somewhere. So it seems that we're on our own if we want to go help Lee. This is all we've got. Yep. Um, I guess we'll go then. Wait, can we just get out of here? Yeah, let's go. Okay. Well, if it isn't Wowie and Hop, it's a real shame the way things turned out. You make it all the way to the championship match and then something like this has to happen? And Chairman Roach... Rose thinking that the energy pouring from the darkest day would somehow be the key to saving Galar's future? It all seems a bit mad if you ask me. I can't follow at all how this is supposed to work. <laughs> me neither. <laughs> well, I don't care. If I'm up against the darkest day or the chairman or whatever, I'm gonna. I'm going ahead. I'm off to help my brother. Have fun. I guess we should go help too. And he's gone. That hop never changes. Always in a rush about something, isn't he? The key thing is that no one's been harmed. We gym leaders work together with the city's Pokemon and we've got everything everyone evacuated. And you, you're help fixing help you're fixing to help our our champion to save everyone at the gallery gym? Of course I am. Our greatest ever champion, our greatest ever challenger along with the fiercest rival. All teaming up against the darkest day? I almost feel sorry for it. Go on then our greatest challenger into Hammerlock Stadium with you. Yeah, it's a. Uh, it's. Uh, I have a lot of sassy things to say, but I don't know if it's worth it, considering this game is barely even trying. J Gym Challenger, you must help me. I mean, please help me. My Pokemon suddenly Dynamax for some reason and started running amok in the stadium. Raihan, I mean, Mr. Raihan was able to subdue the Dynamax Pokemon in the stadium, but. If the other Pokemon also Dynamax on, go on a rampage, the underground power plant will surely collapse. Mr. Rose down, is down there right now. I know this is selfish of me, but I must beg of your assistance. I want you to head into the underground power plant to stop Mr. Rose. Mr. Rose has awakened a Pokemon known as Eternatus. Apparently, the energy emitted from its body is, causing dy is what causes Dynamaxing. At this rate, all the Pokemon in the Galar region will Dynamax and go to Berserk. If that were to happen, please, you must save Mr. Rose. You can take that lift over there. I've enlisted the help of the champion's younger brother too, but who knows what's going on. I sure do. Let's go. Energy plan. Oh, the climax. And what... Do you plan on doing Gym Challenger? Stopping the darkest day. Uh, pardon? What are you talking about? There's nothing to stop now. We've already brought up about the darkest day, or should I say, the ultimate Pokemon Eternatus. Must I explain myself? For, from your perspective, I suppose it must seem that I'm doing something terrible. I don't expect you to understand. But I must provide the Galar region with limitless energy to ensure its everlasting prosperity. It is my purpose, my duty, my destiny. That's why I've, I've been giving wishing, the wishing stars to Eternatus. 
Surely you remember the red light that caused the ruckus in ha around Hammerlock? That was a part of our experiments to awaken Eternatus. You must understand, I can't let you interfere with my plan to protect the future of Galar. Oh my god, we're fighting Chairman Rose. And like all of his employees, he only uses steel types. <laughs> So let's do this. Let's fucking kick his ass with Mr. Mustache. Oh, and a Scavalier is what you're leading off with? I feel so sorry for you. You know, I bet Hawk would have beaten you if he didn't leave off with that stupid fucking double of his. Goodbye. Oh my god, this is exciting. We're getting really close. You're pretty tough. Yes, entirely too tough. Don't you think that's unfair? No, because you're an asshole. Clang, clang. We have a lot of Pokemon that can deal with steel types, I just realized. I didn't, I didn't realize until now, but wow. It's faster. It's fine. Kill. Goodbye. Oh my god, it didn't die. That's fine. Mr. Mustache doesn't do it, then we'll switch to Sandy Andy, which will definitely finish everything off. Like, half of our team can deal with steel types. It's really not a big issue if Mr. Mustache goes down. Oh my god. It is a little bit infuriating that nothing is one-shotting, though. We probably shouldn't Dynamax in this state. I'll Dynamax when we switch to Sandy Andy. Ferrothorn, oh my god. Chairman Rose, I feel so sorry for you. <laughs> Youch. Nine health. Definitely time to die. No. <laughs> oh my god, we're almost to level 60. It's kind of crazy. Oh, oh, down at my last Pokemon. Hm, this isn't looking too good. Paparaja. We're fine. This was a fucking joke. I'll show you the move that will hit you so hard you'll be speechless. Are we faster? We should be. It'd be weird if we weren't. Kaparaja suddenly stands on two legs and has tiny fucking arms. God, this Pokemon looks so silly. Nice, that did a shit ton of damage. <laughs> That's like oh, over a hundred percent of its health if it weren't Dynamax. Um, that's fine. Because now we'll just Dynamax our uh, Sandy Andy. I also just realized that half of our team could Gigantamax if we had those forms, but it's fine. I don't really want to hunt for them and then replace the Pokemon we've trained up. <laughs> Alright, that wasn't too bad. <laughs> I had forgotten how great Pokemon battles are. It's been so long since I battled that it sure was satisfying. Sure was, sir. 
Most impressive, Wowie. I wouldn't expect any less from a challenger endorsed by the strongest champion ever to grace our beloved Gala region. I really do wish I could have seen the championship match between you two, and I'm terribly sorry to have ruined the whole gym challenge and everything. It's too bad, but it can't be helped. It sure could have been. And yet, here we are. In order to solve the energy issues as soon as possible, we awakened to turn it us, but we couldn't control it. The champion came to aid me, even at the cost of abandon abandoning the match. Indeed, it's just like a knight in shining armor coming to rescue a princess from a dragon. I do tend to ramble on, I know. I do. I love to make speeches, but I think I can stop talking now. I think the champion should have captured Eternatus by now. If you're curious, you can take the lift up. And I trust you, you'll be going too, right, Hot? I certainly hope losing to me didn't discourage you too much. Go on now, both of you. Go see how our champion is doing. Discouraged? You don't get it, do you, Chairman? Neither me or my Pokemon are anywhere near giving up. We learned how to be strong thanks to the gym challenge you organized. Well, let's see. Both Sandy Andy and Prince Drowsy are doing okay, but since I don't want to take two turns attacking, let's lead with Prince Drowsy. Alright, Wowie, I'm ready for anything, are you? Of course. Yep. Uh... Mr. Mustache won't be too much of a help with Eternatus, so I don't mind if he's fainted. You came to help me in spite of the danger? Thanks, Hop. And you, Wowie. The two of you have grown tremendously. But no need for you kids to worry. It seems like the power of Eternatus was keeping my... I was keeping my team from Dynamaxing, but we've had a champion time all the same. Charizard and the rest of my champion team members have really worn Eternatus down. Now if I can simply catch in a Pokeball, we should be able to get this madness under control. Then everything will be back to normal. So watch this, I'm going to be a real champion. This is going to be a real champion catch. A real one. He uses an Ultra Ball, and then suddenly, it's in a Pokeball. <laughs> Damn, your luck must suck. Oh, that's right, we don't go into the Gigantamax anyway, version anyway. Oh well. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. The turn disappeared. I know you can do it. <laughs> then headbutt. Dynamax cannon. Shit. Wow. It can. It doesn't need to recharge. What the fuck? It's fine. I definitely thought Dynamax Cannon needed a turn to recharge, but I guess not. Which is fine because we have Sandy Andy here. That won't do anything. Oh, oh, well, we have shit skin, so this might be fine. Nice. All right. This is like the best animated thing in the whole game. Sorry, I'm not even 
it's the most climactic, the most clima climactic spot. But it's like... <laughs> this game is old now, right? People know what happened, right? <laughs> Oh, everyone's healed. That's good. Whoa, it's huge. Let's take it on together, Wowie. Uh, um, that's fine and dandy, but uh, we can't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> what? I can't use any moves? I forgot we found the sword and shield. That was like fucking half an hour ago. Come on now. It's literally the only thing we can do. Wow, use the sword. It might be old and rusted, but there's gotta be some use to it. Got it. Exciting. Trapid sword and dawn shield activate. Alright, so basically this entire fight is like heavily tilted in our favor simply because of Zacia and Zamazenta being here. <laughs> I mean like no matter what we do, like it's not gonna do as much damage as uh their signature moves. But let's see how much uh, Zen Headbutt's gonna do. And light screen, thank you. Oh, and that lower her Wow. Wow. Okay. That didn't do it. <laughs> Looks like we can use our moves now thanks to Zacian and Zamazenta, that is. How much is this gonna do? No, okay. Guess we'll just let Zazie and Zamazenta do all the heavy lifting for us. them every time <laughs> because they kind of take a hot minute okay well ouch that should be fine right it's not doing anything <laughs> It's also not doing anything. <laughs> oh my god, this, this fight is so silly. Oh 
What, this is gonna take, like, another turn after this? It's really just, like, leave it up to Zacian and Zamazenta. Like, this is the freest fucking legendary in the entire series. It's a little bit disappointing, but whatever. Can't complain too much about like, oh, there's other damage. <laughs> That'll do <laughs> Oh my god. Is it even- It's like so fucking negligible. Eh. Come on. <laughs> this is taking fucking forever now. Please just drop dead. Oh my god. Next turn it's dead. Who is this targeting? Okay. Sorry, huh? <laughs> Kill. Alright. Sacred Sword. Are you fucking serious? Come- oh. What? What are the- What are you doing? I am- What was that? What the fuck was that? Are you fucking serious right now? Jesus fucking Christ. This is a waste of my fucking time. Sandy Andy. I cannot believe that this fucking happened. Jesus Christ. Fucking, please just finish this off. Okay. Whatever you fucking say, Chief. Whatever you fucking say. This is just gonna lower her tank again. God, that still does a shit ton of damage. And Dig won't even like. I don't even, I think they're gonna kill it before Dig comes in. No. <laughs> You're making this so much more painful than it needs to be, Zacian and Zamazenta. Thank you, Zamazenta. This is it, hurry while we try to catch a turn just now. I mean, I could do it, but, um, you know. Be like that, I guess. Hell yeah. Of course we'd catch it. We're the protagonist. <laughs> Make sure not to get hit by any falling debris. Oh my god. Thanks, Dacian. Thanks, Amazenta. Goodbye. 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 <laughs>